Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Bola Halabi. I'm gonna continue with my interview preparation tips uh, on today's video and we'll be talking about uh, this commonly asked question, what are your greatest strengths? You know, an interview is an opportunity to sell yourself, to pitch your potential, and to show your capability to this uh, potential employer. So you want to show that you qualify for the position, and you want to impress the hiring manager. And to do this, you must be well prepared, and uh, you must be memorable. So my goal on today's video is to guide, educate, and instruct you so that you'll be effective in answering this question, what are your greatest strengths? So when you think about this question, I want you to remember four letter uh, word, and that's rest, R, E, S, T, rest. So it's an acronym that I came up with to help you to answer this uh, question about your greatest strength. So the first letter, R, what I mean by this is that uh, when you are answering this question, R stands for relevant. That means whatever you are telling the hiring manager, whatever you are telling the interviewer, it has to be relevant to the role that you apply to. Let me give you an example. If you apply for a sales position in an organization, and you want to talk about your strength, it's always good to talk about how you love connecting with people. You can showcase your resilient uh, skills and you can tell the hiring manager that you are a very competitive and confident person because these qualities, these skills, they are essential to many sales roles. Uh, maybe your own, in your own case, maybe you are applying to, be, uh, to join an organization as an engineer. So what are those skills that are important uh, for engineers? Uh, you have to let them know that you are uh, very attentive to detail. Uh, let them know that you are a creative person. And let them know that you love working teams, that you are a great team player, and you can also highlight your problem-solving skills. So those skills, those uh, strengths, they closely align with those roles, and you can talk about them during your interview. So that's what I mean by relevance. So in order to be effective, you have to research your role, you have to understand the role that you are applying to, and you have to be able to come up with skills that are essential to the roles uh, in question. That's R. The second letter, E, E stands for enthusiasm. When you are talking, when you are asked about that question, what are your greatest strengths? You must be able to show some enthusiasm. You must be able to talk with high energy. You must smile. You must show confidence and you must show that you are interested in that position uh, that you are applying to. So how do you do that con uh, convincingly and persuasively? You can only do it with enthusiasm. So E stands for enthusiasm. You must be enthusiastic about the role and you should leave uh, a great impression uh, uh, in the front of the hiring manager. And it's not only about uh, your technical background or showing that to the manager, that uh, to the AI manager, that you have uh, the knowledge. It's also about the enthusiasm that you display during the interview. So that is E, be enthusiastic. The next letter is S. S stands for specific. So when you are talking about your strength, please, please, and please, don't be generic. Don't just say, I am a great team player. Don't just say, I am the best at what I do. You have to state your quality and back it up with specific examples of what you've done in the past that will 
help to explain your skills, your strength to the interviewer. So for example, maybe you want to talk about your, uh, your leadership skills. Uh, you can tell the IRA manager about a position that you recently took and how you went into that role, how maybe it was a sales role, how you change the dynamics of the team, how you help to deliver more sales so that your company make extra money. So that is specific. You can uh, share uh, stories about the motivation. How did you motivate the team? How did you get them to work maybe to deliver more results or better results? So be specific. Don't just say, I am great at what I do. The last letter, T. T stands for tell a story. I love telling stories and interviewers will not forget your stories uh, when you share a story during your interview. Your story is meant to bring the interviewer to the inner space so that they can have a taste of your experience without ever actually working with you. So when you are talking about your strength, try and share some stories. Try and make lasting impression uh, in the front of the IRM manager. Back everything you are talking about, back them up by examples. That's the only way the interviewer will understand you. That's the only way the interviewer will see things from your perspective. So stories make you relatable. Stories make you human. So next time, try and tell stories to talk about your strength. So today, I shared four letters that will help you to answer the question, what are your greatest strengths? This first letter, R, means relevant. Make sure that the stories, uh, make sure that the strength you are talking about is relevant to, this, to the role that you are applying to. E, the next letter, enthusiasm. Make sure everything you are doing you do it with enthusiasm. You should be happy, you should smile, you should show passion for what you are talking about. The next letter is be specific. Don't just come up with random story. Don't just say, I am great at what I do. You got to be specific. And the final letter T stands for tell a story. Everything you are gonna tell the AI manager, everything you are gonna share, make sure you back them up with some examples and that's where i'm heading uh that's where i'm gonna stop today hey by the way you can check the full episode of my podcast episode 36 where i uh, shared uh these strategies in more details till next time this is bola halabi i'm here to help you to win now go win